step back into the comedic charm of the 1972 TV series that became a household favorite, The Bob Newhart Show. A sitcom that stood the test of time, this classic has etched itself into the memories of many. Do you have a cherished recollection tied to this iconic show, perhaps a moment that still brings a smile to your face? As we journey through the annals of television history, let's delve into some intriguing facts about The Bob Newhart Show. This sitcom, gracing screens in the early 70s, follows the life of psychologist Dr. Bob Hartley as he navigates the humorous intricacies of both his professional and personal spheres. The brilliant ensemble cast and clever writing made it a standout in its era. Now, we invite you to share your most treasured memory or personal experience associated with this classic series. What moment resonated with you the most, leaving an indelible mark on your TV watching journey? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Settle in for a trip down memory lane as we explore the random facts and delightful anecdotes surrounding the Bob Newhart Show. From its inception to its enduring legacy, this sitcom has woven itself into the fabric of television history, earning a special place in the hearts of its viewers. So, what's your cherished memory or personal experience related to the Bob Newhart Show? Share it with us in the comments below. Your nostalgia is our delight. The Bob Newhart Show, a classic television series that debuted in the early 1970s, follows the life of Chicago-based psychologist Dr. Bob Hartley, played by the renowned comedian Bob Newhart. The show's premise revolves around the eccentric patients who seek therapy from Dr. Hartley, providing a humorous lens into the world of psychiatry. Bob's deadpan delivery and witty banter, coupled with the impeccable ensemble cast, including Susan Pochette as Emily Hartley, brought the characters to life in a way that resonated with audiences. The show's unique blend of clever writing, dry humor, and relatable situations set it apart, establishing a lasting legacy in the realm of sitcoms. The enduring appeal of the Bob Newhart show lies in its ability to seamlessly blend humor with genuine human connection, presenting a timeless exploration of relationships and the quirks of everyday life. Its impact on popular culture endures as it continues to be celebrated as a hallmark of classic television, etching Bob Newhart's name into the annals of comedic history. Lorenzo Music, renowned for voicing Garfield in the 80s cartoons, and Carlton the Dorman from Rhoda, played a surprising role in the Bob Newhart show. Co-writing the show's theme song, music contributed to the series' distinctive vibe. Beyond the catchy tune, the show gained a unique off-screen reputation. College students, during its run, crafted a popular drinking game. Whenever a character uttered Bob, participants raised their glasses. If someone went with the classic hi, Bob, it meant finishing the drink. The show itself delves into Bob Hartley's life, occasionally referencing his time in the Korean War, alternating between the Air Force and the Army. This aspect adds depth to the character, subtly exploring his past amidst the comedic chaos of therapy sessions. The blend of witty banter, deadpan delivery, and a stellar ensemble cast, featuring Suzanne Plachette as Emily Hartley, contributed to the show's lasting legacy. Lorenzo Music's contribution to the theme song and the quirky drinking game highlight the unexpected layers of the Bob Newhart Show. As the series seamlessly weaves humor with genuine human connection, it remains a classic in the sitcom realm, solidifying Bob Newhart's name in comedic history. Bill Quinn, known for his role as the mailman in the Bob Newhart Show, shared a familial connection with the lead actor, Bob Newhart. In real life, Quinn was Newhart's father-in-law. This intriguing bond behind the scenes added a unique layer to the dynamics of the show. Moreover, the choice of the office building for Bob Hartley's practice was no arbitrary decision. The exterior shots depicted the Bay Federal Bank building on Michigan Avenue. This setting, though seemingly mundane, contributed to the authenticity and relatability of the series. Interestingly, Bob Newhart had a clever approach to handling his lines on set. He always had his lines written on cards hidden around the set, a strategy born out of his struggle to remember them. This behind-the-scenes tidbit sheds light on the practical aspects of bringing Dr. Bob Hartley to life. In exploring these lesser-known facets, we uncover the nuanced relationships and meticulous details that enrich the 1972 TV series. The Bob Newhart Show's charm goes beyond the scripted humor, delving into the personal connections and real-world elements that shaped its essence. In Season 3 of The Bob Newhart Show, the series reveals a curious detail about Bob's age. 
At 45, Bob mentions his mother's age at 56, creating a chronological inconsistency that adds an intriguing layer to the character's backstory. This anomaly sparks a closer look at the show's narrative intricacies, prompting viewers to question the timeline of Bob's life. Moreover, it invites speculation on the show's approach to character development and the choices made in crafting the protagonist's personal history. As the series unfolds, another compelling revelation emerges Jerry's adoption and the tragic fate of his father during World War I. Jerry's quest to find his mother and the details surrounding his father's death add emotional depth to the show. This unexpected twist not only contributes to the character's complexity, but also sheds light on the show's willingness to delve into poignant and sometimes somber themes amid its comedic framework. Beyond individual character revelations, the geographical origins of Bob and Emily provide an additional layer to the series. While Bob hails from Chicago, Emily's roots trace back to Seattle. This divergence in their backgrounds offers a subtle exploration of regional influences and potentially shapes the dynamics of their relationship. The contrast in their hometowns becomes a backdrop to the unfolding narrative, contributing to the overall richness of the show's storytelling. In examining these specific facets of the Bob Newhart show, from age inconsistencies to adoption revelations and regional backgrounds, we uncover the series' commitment to infusing depth into its characters and storyline. These subtle yet significant details showcase the show's dedication to presenting a well-rounded and engaging viewing experience where even seemingly minor aspects contribute to the overall narrative tapestry. In reshaping the Bob Newhart show's direction, Bob Newhart insisted on two pivotal changes. Firstly, he wanted his character, Dr. Bob Hartley, to be a psychologist instead of a psychiatrist, steering clear of making light of serious mental health issues. Additionally, he ensured that Dr. Hartley would have no children, sidestepping the cliché of a goofy father. These deliberate choices reflect Newhart's commitment to a respectful portrayal of mental health while steering clear of conventional sitcom tropes. Interestingly, Suzanne Plachette, who portrayed Emily Hartley, was an unexpected addition to the cast. Her chemistry with Bob Newhart was noticed during a chance encounter on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. This unplanned connection led producers to cast her, ultimately contributing to the show's success. Moreover, during the third season opener, a noteworthy scene emerged. Bob Newhart, in character, slammed closed the group in session sign while allegedly being under the influence. This behind-the-scenes tidbit adds a layer of intrigue, offering a glimpse into the show's production dynamics and the unpredictable moments that shaped its episodes. In unraveling these production nuances, we uncover the thoughtful decisions made by Bob Newhart and the unexpected turns that molded the Bob Newhart show. These insights into casting choices and on-set moments shed light on the series' unique path, providing a deeper understanding of its distinctive charm and success. As we bid adieu to our stroll down memory lane, basking in the timeless charm of that classic TV gem, your reflections on the Bob Newhart show become the heartbeat of nostalgia. As the credits roll on the anecdotes of Dr. Robert Hartley and his eclectic gang, we're left with more than just laughter echoing through the decades. It's an invitation to unearth your personal archives, those moments when the witty banter of Bob and his quirky patience wove itself into the fabric of your own narrative. Let's not merely be spectators in this retrospective symphony. Let's be active participants. Share your most cherished recollections, the scenes that became permanent fixtures in the landscape of your laughter. Whether it's Larry's deadpan humor or Emily's charming quirkiness, let your thoughts flow like a vintage melody. How did the Bob Newhart show etch itself into the script of your life? What resonates with you even now, a testament to the show's enduring magic? In this communal celebration of nostalgia, your stories become the brushstrokes on the canvas of shared reminiscence. Connect with fellow enthusiasts as together we breathe life into the legacy of this iconic series. Unearth those memories, celebrate the quirks, and revel in the laughter that transcends time. Thank you for joining us on this journey, a collective voyage through the corridors of TV history, where the Bob Newhart Show stands as a timeless masterpiece. Your tales, the threads woven into the fabric of this sitcom, ensure its continued resonance in the tapestry of television folklore. So, share away, dear friends. Your stories are the hidden gems waiting to be unearthed, enriching the narrative of this beloved show. Until we meet again in the hallowed halls of nostalgia, revel in the warmth of those cherished memories. 
Your time and thoughts are the true stars of this retrospective performance. Thank you for sharing in the joy, the laughter, and the enduring legacy of The Bob Newhart Show.